Once every week, I treat my lobster cockroaches with some protein. This week, instead of just throwing in the food and calling it a day, I wanted to get up close and personal with these feeder insects and make a little video of them eating roast pork and ham. And that's when I noticed them, crawling menacingly in the background like they owned the place. Grain mites. Although they are rather harmless, grain mites can reproduce quickly and spread to other enclosures and become a hassle to get rid of. So I needed to give this lobster cockroach enclosure a mega clean out. The grain mites have been attracted to the food in which I give these cockroaches and have been breeding in the cocoa peat. So I decided to get rid of the cocoa peat entirely and use newspaper instead. And that's when I noticed the second unwanted pest. Meal moths. These are also harmless. The moths can just be annoying when they fly at your face every time you look into their enclosure. These moth larvae have been using the coca peat to pupate in, so we will be killing two birds with one stone by getting rid of this substrate. Once I finished the tedious job of removing every single cockroach, I gave the container a good rinse and began layering newspaper on the bottom. I then place some egg cartons along the side. These will act as hiding places for the lobster roaches. Huh? One thing you must never forget to do with the container that you keep your roach colony in is putting Vaseline along the sides. This stops the cockroaches climbing up the walls and escaping. Now for the tedious job of placing all the cockroaches back into the enclosure. This enclosure is also the home for two Australian cockroaches. Although they are called Australian cockroaches, they aren't actually native to Australia. They are just very common here. This Australian cockroach is in the process of laying an Utheka, so I should have little babies in no time. And believe it or not, this roach has a name. Her name is Pfleegers57. Don't ask, that's just her name. So what did I do with all of those meal moth larvae, you may ask? Well, let's just say my isopods also were given some protein this week. <laughs> 